Good morning, this is Lisa. I wanted to show you that I made several covers doing the collaging process that I showed on the video the other day. I have sealed them with Mod Podge mixed with glitter and I've sewed around the edges. And I made five co covers all together. And on some of them, when you go to fold them, sometimes the papers crack. I think what I'll do is I'll, after I sew a signature in and use them, I'll just put a piece of ribbon or sorry to cover that up. I don't think it's going to rip or tear. So those are two of the signatures. Um, the other three, I already started working on as gifts for my friend's daughters and her granddaughter. This is this is one I worked on for the granddaughter. And I've just got the pages. Nothing is sewn in. I included a calendar page from the year or from the month that that each one was born. Unfortunately, you have to put the calendar upside down or otherwise you'll get the image on the back of it upside down. So that was a challenge. Still not sure if I'll be using it, but it's in here. All of them have a little bit of a fairy floral theme. And then they have an Edith Holden in the center with their, their month. And then it's just more of the same on the other side. But So that's the beginnings for that journal. And then this is for one of her daughters. And then this is my fifth one. Still working on them. But the whole reason that I started the collaging was because I actually have uh, four gifts that I wanted to work on. Another one is for my friend who had a birthday. I'm a little bit late. And then I had given a journal to my friend last year for her garden, and she just had mentioned how much she thought her daughters would enjoy a journal, and I just didn't hadn't gotten a chance to make one for them. So those are my journals. Using the collaged scrap papers. And I put three coats of the Mod Podge over as a sealer over the covers. Okay, everybody. Thank you.